explain yourself to everyone? No one seems to know what illustration is. <laughs> they think we just draw books but or... They always need, an, I'm just like, you know, like magazines and that sort of like starts to get them thinking about it, but... stuff on my mind to really actually like oh wait tomorrow's the grad show right you know I can't wait to take a moment and just sit back and look at like wow this is empty right now and we're gonna fill it with a ton of four years of solid work four years of people growing and progressing and moving right this empty space will be filled with a bunch of amazing illustrators uh, four years of Sheridan have been a wild ride for sure you go from high school where you know you're the best at what you do and then you come here and so many better, so many better artists. For me, illustration is absolutely fundamental to our daily lives in the sense that it's about information, it's about entertainment, it's about inspiration, it's about persuasion. Uh, you wake up in the morning and there's, there's your cereal box and it's got an illustration on it. Uh, you get in your car and the way that it's arrayed, uh, that can be an illustrator was involved in that sort of, you know, the ergonomics of that. Um, you go into, you know, you drive by a billboard and there's another form of illustration. Uh, so, illustration is visual communication and it's about um, helping us to sort of deal with the kinds of complexities that we have. Illustration is the answer because of all the other stuff that, that is like tied up into it. It's communication, it's provocative, it gets people thinking. Um, I'm not sure it's always the answer. I think it's more, not that photography is not creative, but it's just you get to see what's, everyone sees what's there, but then you actually get to see what's actually going on in a person's head, like the way you think, the way you daydream, the way you, you yeah. know, perceive things. That's the exciting thing is like, like you can make a piece and love it, or you can make a piece and hate it, but you always know that like the next piece uh, is going to be different. And like that piece didn't define who you were. It's just sort of a moment of, of like what you were thinking and doing and feeling right then. I really wanted to do it on a scroll because I thought that format suited the way that the story would need to be told so that I didn't really have too many like page limitations and stuff like that. But uh, I can show you guys what it's all about. I might need a hand here though. The technology's always been a part of uh, art and it's the artist that you know uh, pushes technology and technology pushes the artist to create new new uh, forms of visual communication, really. Some students who live inside the computer, and some who just are like, I don't want to live inside it. But the point is, it's going to be the central business tool of everybody here in this room, so you've got to know it. I have one piece left, it's in the works, and you know, you start back then being like, I can't do it. I uh, wanted to be a dental hygienist, and then I realized that was disgusting and then I decided to get into business that but it was boring so the only other thing I could do was draw <laughs> that's good I think a lot of people came to it by process of elimination they might not tell you that but uh, yeah I was I was better at art than other things and in the end it just made more sense to do it and, you know I'm sure we all grew up with Disney movies and it just made me want to draw and made me want to uh, create stories, um, just to inspire people. I think that technology is increasing audiences for illustration. I think technology is increasing the opportunities for individual artists. Um, and, and I think what it, what it allows is our images to expand beyond our own, uh, our own origins for them. One of the negative things is, uh, I mean, but it, it's kind of a paradox because um, uh, the positive thing is that you can do your work faster, and one of the negative things is that people ask for your work faster. Um, so, uh, basically, any time you save on uh, with technology is uh, eaten up with um, tighter deadlines and uh, greater expectations. Going to school uh, kind of benefits you as an interpreter and a, like a picture maker because you can put your thoughts um, onto paper and make it visually like understandable to the audience around you? I wanted to make something that was about magic that underlied pretty much everyday life. So I have a couple. This is Zoe. 
And this is Kevin, and they live in a big city. And I had this concept of inner dragons that are these organisms that live inside people, but we aren't aware of them and they aren't aware of us. But any sensation we feel is created from these inner dragons. This is a piece I'm working on for narrative class, and I'm doing, um, uh, well, it's based on an old children's rhyme called Monday's Child, so I'm doing a different archetype for every day of the week. Like, I love doing portraits, and um, I like expression, so, you know, dealing with, like, the human figure, but trying to put a lot of expressiveness into the images. Uh, it's really personal because I actually get nightmares every night, so I've always kept a long, huge journal of them. There's hundreds of them, but I started going through them and trying to draw them and sort of remember not only what was what was the actual terrifying part of it, but also the part that made me really uncomfortable. Like the really scary part that lingers with you after nightmares, that's what I was interested in. It's, it's kind of great that people pay you to make pictures. People pay, I color for a living. This is a, a narrative of an astronaut going out into space, um, exploring different planets. You learn the tools and you learn the parameters, but then it's up to you to push those parameters. And there's so many great digital artists that work solely digitally, but all of their traditional work, if you look at any of it, is, is really strong. Art is exactly where we should be taking sides. We should be expressing opinions, and I think that the more the more artists are lending their weight behind certain topics, the more people become aware. Of them. Print media survived on advertising for so long, and online content doesn't have the same amount of money in it, so there's not the same um, amount of ability, I think, to contract the same content from illustrators. So the money's not there yet to support that transition. Um, but I think everyone's sort of anticipating that it's going to be somewhere online. Just generally, I, I think art can inspire people to action that they otherwise maybe wouldn't. Art has always served a purpose, of, you know, it's the voice of the people. The illustrators do often, depending on, you know, what stylistic approach they have to their work, but a lot of illustrators just simply become another cog in the wheel, you know. Don't look at me like that. See, he's an exception, which is why I got to talk to him. Which is why they always call for New York Times to do, like, the war pieces. You know, that's the kind of work he does. Because people are visual people. They think about things visually. They lay things out visually. Um, so it's always just going to be there. I don't, I don't think it's a necessity so much. It's just something that's always going to be inevitable. You, you know, you shouldn't pocket yourself. You shouldn't pigeonhole yourself into one little market because all those markets are shifting anyway. I mean, it's happening all over the place right now. So to maybe not think of oneself as an illustrator within these set boundaries, but really, you know, letting your work be as, as true to yourself as possible and then let the market come to you. I mean, we're in an environment here with uh, people that are forming themselves as young artists, as young communicators. I think we're in an environment here with, um, you know, luckily, a really interesting set of diverse minds that I get to work with every day as far as my faculty peers. But in general, it's just the energy. Just the more people you know, the bigger your network is, the better your odds are as an illustrator. Illustrations can convey a complex idea faster than you could read it, and they can deliver it in a way that solicits an emotional response. The funny thing is illustration's always been the answer. It's just that with, uh, you know, I kind of thought about this recently, um, the sense of uh, the way images are being used to communicate ideas, the speed at which images travel, now is essentially the language of illustration or the structure of illustration. Good artist means you are the master of your own domain. 
you can you can understand what you want to say and your intent gets across. Illustration for me was a uh, pretty much a way out of uh, a way out of the mundane. I didn't want to be part of the office. I used to go to university for um, computer programming. That was the ultimate mundane, and uh, I just saw illustration as a way out, a way for me to be me at all times. I mean, going back into the real world and having to try to support myself, which is always, always fun and always kind of scary, but at the same time, it's exciting, and I'm not too scared. I'm sure it'll be good. You know, you have to speak to people in a language that's both accessible and challenging to them. So um, unless you are aware of those languages, unless you are aware of those trends, unless you are aware of those structures, um, then you can't command them as a communicator. Anything you could use photography for yeah. can be replaced and it's probably better with But overall, it's really interesting. Like, that's the one thing I think about, um, even if I don't want to go into illustration, it's an interesting thing to learn about, like communicating in a visual way. It's really cool. I come up with a concept, do some rough thumbnails. Uh, from then, I will take photographic reference, bring it into the computer, kind of create a composition rough, get it approved through my teachers, faculty. It's really up to you to get inspired and figure out where you want to go. You know, like research the industry, figure out what direction and what where you would fit, which is, yeah, it's fun. first and second year, I feel like by fourth year, you know, everybody's very supportive and very, everybody wants to see everybody succeed, and it's a, it's a community. It's going to um, persuade, I think illust good illustration persuades. Work, um, work hard, don't deny yourself opportunity. I think the rewards of this choice to work in this discipline are that um, you don't have to do the same thing every day or every six months or every year. Mike, why are you so tired? There's no rest. Amazing place to dwell, right? Especially at nighttime. Three o'clock in the morning, no one's here. I'll turn the lights off, you know, and just a couple lights are on. It's just, there's this, there's this emptiness to it that you feel. Like.